All right, so w welcome to round two of the Tundra Wolves Challenge 7. Yeah. Round two. We have... Yeah. Uh, okay. Looks like, looks like Christian's ready. All right. And yeah, officially good luck to the players. The, uh, yeah. Good luck. As officially round two has just started, so... It looks like... Uh, oh, yeah. As for the comment about the T-shirts, a lot of people came today with their... Uh, Either representing the T-shirts of their own communities, yeah, or uh, or wolf based, just wolf, uh, yeah, yeah, just wolf-based wolf -based clothing. Yeah. Uh, people uh, just showing their support for the Tundra Wolves. Exactly. So, do you suspect Francois will win this round against Central? Well, the Montreal Special Deck can be very explosive. Very explosive, but it's also possible that sometimes it just dirtles and does absolutely nothing. So, a deck like Sedge Troll, that's very refined, very consistent, can easily take advantage if the Montreal Special deck decides to d decides to dirtle. So we'll so we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. So now we're just gonna do a couple updates. Let's see what happens here. Looks like we're just gonna update a bit. So, yeah, we're just waiting for the camera for the image yeah. to come back on screen. Because, we're just going uh, through some technical things. Yeah, we're getting the deck pictures ready so that we can have them on screen um, in the post. Okay, okay. So here we are. Okay. All right. So now we're uh, who went back into who the went match. first? Do we know who went first? Yeah. Sorry. Who, yeah. Who went first? Do we know who went first? Oh, uh, okay. So Christian going second is pretty good because that library turns on when you have seven cards. So going second, you draw to eight, play the library, you're at seven. So you have at least one guaranteed activation. But you see what I'm saying with Francois' deck is sometimes it can just explode out of the gate. Yeah. Now, again, if he doesn't do anything with this, arguable bad keep, but we'll see. I mean, uh, the options are pretty much everywhere I now. He's got seven mana on turn one. Uh, it looks like it's an explosive hand, but... What does he have in his hand? That's yeah, slaps. exactly. Yeah, because now I don't know. Uh, All right, we'll see what happens. So contrary, contrary to what happened in Shane's game, where the uh, activation of the Black Lotus can be debated. Yeah, this deck wants to use its Lotuses, I think, pretty fast because it wants to get you know, Triskelion in play right away. It wants to. Uh, be able to Triskel like play an artifact and copy it as fast as possible. So yeah. there's less criticism of this deck using Black Lotus aggressively. Hang on a second. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We're just uh, going through uh no, because the music in the background. Yeah, the music is very loud. They want to be like stunned with uh, YouTube. Uh, yeah. Oh my God. Okay. Francois balance play. So so. Interesting because balance doesn't um, doesn't translate to you know a Triskelion copied in play, but it does shred the entire hand of Christian, right? Making the uh, now it's kind of like a mind twist, essentially. Yeah. Okay, and sec. It, and and also it it, it it like doesn't incentivize Christian to activate the library because he's yeah. gonna lose, he's gonna lose the card anyways. Now. You could argue that it's good to activate it anyways to see one more so card to search. keep. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, yeah, the balance, yeah. Yeah, brutal. When you have a balance there, 
I did that once to, uh, I forget who it was, it was somebody in our group, and I did the, almost the same thing. Same Played thing. Played on my hand. I had one card left in hand. And balance. Turn, turn one. Yeah, but you know what's and interesting, though, is that, okay, yeah, so if, if Francois has something massive, then it's really good. Okay, so th that, that's really strong. Because the thing is, is that if Francois has the kind of deck, as I described it, and all he does is play his whole hand and then pass a turn where they both only have one card in hand, I think Christian's deck is actually top decking better. because Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah he comes out of the gate with these little things, plus whatever he kept in his hand. He can okay. develop a lot faster. So, like, Francois really had to have a play after all that. And the Brain Geyser is a sufficient play to at least give him a little bit of an edge. Now he's got three cards, draw to four. So that's really good for him. Yeah, and the draws included uh, 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 Mana Vault. So now he's back in business. Anything he top decks is, uh, is, just, is just activated. Oh, is this an HP proxy? Or is that an HP card? Ah, uh, nice, yeah. They got some uh, HP proxies. Yeah. Uh, what are they debating over here? So he activated... What do you think he's going to copy? He wants to copy the factory, I think. Either the factory or the sapphire, but I don't know yeah. if he needs that much blue. I think he wants to damage more at this point while Christian's got nothing going on. Yeah, I, I mean, factory beatdowns is a real thing. Yeah. So... So they're having some kind of debate. I, I'm not really sure what the debate is. Because he has to play the copy artifacts, but he has to activate the factory first in order for it to become a artifact. Yeah, I, I'm kind of curious what's happening over there. Yeah, he's supposed to activate the factory in order to copy it. He can't uh, just copy the Mistress Factory. But, I mean, if he casts the copy artifact, he can hold priority to activate it before the copy resolves. He just can't do it once the copy's in play. Yeah. So I'm wondering what... Yeah, they're really in the middle of it. We should probably figure out what's going on. I wonder what... Uh... So probably, yeah. Maybe at the half. Copying, maybe copying ha the maybe when they're when they're going to when they're doing their sideboarding, I'll go check it out. Unless unless JS is going now. Okay, so. So, the copy can't be tapped for mana. Why? How come the? Why would the copy not be? Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. That's probably what, yeah, makes sense. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. because the factory, yeah, 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 yeah. So he copies the factory, becomes a creature. It hasn't been in place since the beginning of the turn. Can't be activated. Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. But then how did he get the mana vault in play? You have to, you have to pay, what you, so the factory activates itself. Two mana pays for the copy artifact. And then the copy artifact is a creature Shouldn't be able to tap. So is that Mana Vault not legal? I don't think that Mana Vault is legal. Because he had he had uh, he had Underground Sea and and uh, Mox. He played the factory. He activates the factory for itself. Then he pays uh, Sea and Mox for Copy Artifact. Copy Artifact copies a creature. It can't be used for mana that turn. It doesn't have haste. And then how does he pay for the Mana Vault? Yeah, maybe I'm mean, just maybe, yeah. maybe kind of clarify that. We're we're gonna, we're gonna get a quick clarification on the on the mana vault. Yeah. It, it may not have been legal, Un unless did the. Yeah, but oh yeah, yeah, true. Unless he copied, he may have copied. Um, yeah, but then he just attacked. No, no, no. He he used the if the copy artifact was a mock sapphire, he used it to pay for the factory to attack. Yeah. So okay. he, did, he he turned them no, both he at turned the same time. Both lands, and then he turned the copy factory. Oh and yeah. The next turn. He taps. No, no, no. He couldn't have because he played Time Walk. So, so mana from. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So he probably copied. Okay. So in the end, after the case, okay, so their debate was probably about 
the copy artifact not being able to tap for mana if it's the factory. And then Francois probably corrected it by uh, copying the sapphire. So we're going to get that figured out right now. And uh, Yeah, they were, okay, okay. That's okay. what they were arguing about. Even though, the Mana. even though the factory is a creature. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, so okay. we just got a rules clarification that when the copy enters, it copies the factory as as the, as a land. Even if it's a creature, it's not copying it as an activated creature. It's just taking its its uh, its basis as a land. So in the end, it seems like if that's correct. But wouldn't he have to activate the original factory on the board first? Yeah, so the original factory gets activated. It's a creature. Yeah. But the copy artifact, when it copies the factory, isn't seeing it as a creature. When it becomes, no, it's, when it, it sees becomes, it as an artifact creature. Yeah, yeah, it sees it as an artifact creature, but it's not becoming a creature when it enters. It's becoming Mishra's factory, the artifact. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is a bit, it's a bit bizarre to me. I don't, I don't fully understand that to be honest. But anyways, the game goes on. Both players are okay with it, so we'll continue. Yeah. Anyways. The game's only existed for 30 years, and we yeah, still can't yeah, figure yeah. out these things. It's okay. <laughs> uh, Rules are meant to be ignored. There's your beloved set stroll. So, in all of the confusion, I kind of missed how Christian got the three life. How did... How did Christian fall to three life? I, m I missed. I missed that whole. I thing. I think the factory beatdown was just. I'm. I'm. I, I missed the. Because we're I we're the concentrating on the, uh, the factory. Yeah, it's focusing way too much. But on I the, think you're uh, just doing the factory beatdown, and I think it was that's four what's... damage each time. Yeah. Okay. Well. That's like four turns. But down to three. Yeah. So it's okay. So. Anyways, there was a lot of confusion happening with that copy artifact, so... Uh, well, I hope you liked that round. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe we can tell players when they're using copy artifact to be very explicit uh, on the camera, like what, yeah. they're, cop what, they're, co what they're copying. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to get uh, JS to go to the back and tell them, and all future users of copy artifact, to be very explicit what they're copying so that we can, uh, we can all see very clearly what they're, yeah. what, what they're doing. Well, it seems like your bowl of uh, candy has become very popular at this bar. As just, don't, just don't show it to Kyrie. Like, yeah, yeah. Like... As soon as those candies came on the table, there was like eight, eight hands in the bowl. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get the uh, some deck pickers up in here. We'll see if we can figure out what the, what the sideboard plan is. I figure for um, Francois, seeing a troll deck, it's probably just going to be... Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, nice. Uh, yeah, we're going to get the... Are you bringing it on the screen? or We'll get, uh, we'll get Francois' deck on the screen. Sedge troll is... Uh, Sedge troll is Sedge troll. So we're going to see here what uh, Francois has as options in his sideboard. Okay. You think he brings in... So the, the blue blasts are only good for countering, right? They're not going to do anything if the troll's already in play, right? Blue blast? Yeah, blue blast, because it destroys, right? So, yeah. So the troll can regenerate. So it's okay. I think I would be more inclined to bring in the disintegrate as it kills the troll, right? Yeah. Disintegrate does not care cannot, about... Because you cannot regenerate yeah. the creature. Yeah. Well, it exiles it. It exiles it. Yeah. Yeah, it from the game. And I think I would bring in Control Magic also. Control Magic is extremely rude. <laughs> it's a very rude card. It's insulting. It's insulting. And especially if you're playing a deck where you're like, haha, your removal is uh, blanked, you know, not, not counting Short of Plowshare. But if you're in the mindset of playing a card that blanks removal, getting that card Control Magic is, uh, is a heartbreaking experience. It's heart, it's heart shattering. It's soul sh heartbreaking and soul shattering. So, yeah. Uh, I remember. 
I played Laurence a few months back, and I think he had like three in the main board. That's what I'm like, dude. That's that. That's that's, three in the main that's board. rude. Sorry, you, you said that, and I said yeah, and then I just I just registered what you said. <laughs> main board, three that's main side. Board. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, dude, that's rude. Like. It's okay, it's okay. Um, if not, if the, if the players aren't ready yet, we'll uh, we'll try to get Christian Steck up here also. So. Okay. Can we get uh, Christian Steck up very fast? So they're still shuffling. Um, let's, let's see what Christian's got going. Maybe we'll see if we can uh, pinpoint what he's going to bring in. I really do think that Control Magic and Disintegrate are like the best options. Yeah, uh, I think so. Okay, so here's Christian's troll deck. Uh, sideboard. The disc. The discs are good. Yeah, right? discs are fantastic. Just what? Clear the boards. Yeah, I don't like. I don't think he cares about uh, the silo. Well, Silex stops Triskelligan, but again, it's kind of like gloom. Yeah. Don't just bring Silex in because they have a card or two cards or some cards that it can hurt. Also playing his own control magic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you know, if you if you bring in control magic and steal a Sage of Latinam, feels kind of bad, right? And you're you're never really stealing a Triskelion, right? Because a Triskelion will just yeah. can, can just kill itself, so that's yeah. not happening. I think uh, disc. I think just the disc is appropriate yeah. enough. Maybe, maybe the shatter, shatter, yeah, maybe shatter. shatter. But disc is really good. Disc has a, uh, you know, I'm a big fan of disc in the side in my troll decks also i do not think that you have to play troll and disc side by side for it to be a troll deck but i do think that there should be some number of discs in the 75 so i'm okay with it being in the sideboard here and i think this is a great opportunity to bring them in because yeah. they absolutely destroy montreal special and they have positive uh, synergy with uh, the, the, troll. the troll yeah yeah so we'll see if uh, there if our players are ready all right, we're, we're shuffling Let's up. Let's rock and roll, baby. You know, as we saw in the first round, it was just like really close matches. You know, just going up to the or flip. So I'm wondering now, since we still have like over 30 minutes, if we'll see a, a best of three or if Francois will oh. just uh, sweep it and sweep, right, run through with his uh, special boys. You know, I like to see a no cut when our players are here <laughs> to me it's like like what are you what, what are you coming here to cheat for you know first of all you're playing old school second of all uh you're among friends third of all ch charity event and you know it's like i'm just not gonna cut your deck anyways if you want to cut mine go for it i'm not gonna cut your deck in my opinion it's like if you're cheating it doesn't matter if you win or not you're still the fucking loser so yeah you know, you know like yeah most times i'll just like tap the top of the yeah, deck yeah yeah, 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 yeah. There That being said, you go to a real tournament, like where money's on the line, you never, you never know what the guy in front of, what the guy or girl in front of you is doing. So, real tournament, real stakes, real thing. Yeah. Cut, but here, nah. Yeah, I know. That's that's true. So we kind of still had a game last game, despite the balance. There was still a bit of a game there, right? Like, yeah. Uh, Christian I mean, was able to find his things and curve out and uh, and and and. Well, play. that balance game one was like pretty brutal. Yeah. So. So is this a mulligan from Christian? Uh, it appears to be. Oh, actually, yeah. It's, it's important to note. We'll try to um, remind every once in a while. But as it's a charity charity event, there's an in, there's a new rule that we've put in place that we've been using it every year. I think it's like a, it's it's a charity mulligan, so it does interfere a little bit with the proper rules, so to speak, of magic. But essentially, if the players have uh, zero or only one mana source in yeah. their opening hands. They can put a charitable donation of ten dollars to our, our the organization Sun Youth that we're supporting, and they can get a free uh, a proper free mulligan. So, I know that that could rub some people the wrong way, but again, yeah, you know, uh, it's all for fun. Yeah. Okay. Also, it, it, it cre oh, yeah, he, he did bring in the the gins. I was gonna actually say, I wonder if he brings in the gins, uh, the Mahamotis, because oh, uh, he's got a wheel of fortune. Did he did he bring Silex in? Was that Silex that he just put on the bottom? I think. 
Sorry. We missed it. Yeah, we, we, we missed it. It's okay. That Wheel of Fortune. So Wheel of Fortune is a nice card to have on a mulligan, right? You have less cards in your opening hand, but you're just going to get back seven. So especially if he can play a Mox or something, it'd be really good for him. Yeah, but with uh, Christian not having any fast mana, by the time you play turn three, the other, yeah. player, the other, the other opponent doesn't really care. You, you definitely don't want to see Lotus on your opponent's side of the board when your plan is a, a slow turn three Wheel of Fortune. Is that that might be a control magic in Francois's hand on the far right? That's good. Okay. Okay. Oh, blue blast the tr so. Blue wow. blast the troll. So I think, I think if you have. Any concerns or doubts that your opponent might be playing Blast? Or even in game twos and threes, where sideboard options become more of a thing? Yeah. I think I'm more inclined to play Troll on four. I don't think there's a big rush to get it out there when it's uh, vulnerable. Now, if I'm playing... Why four, though? Because you have the mana available to re rege regenerate it. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can regenerate it on turn four. Now, if I'm playing against white, so Plow which completely disrespects my regeneration ability. I'll play the troll as fast as possible. Turn one, turn two with Moxon. But against non-white, I'll think twice about maybe playing it on turn three. Yeah, I guess I never thought of it that way. I mean... Yeah. I mean, the the pull to play cards on curve is very strong. It's something that like we're taught when we're learning card games, like don't waste your resources, play on curve. Yeah. That's such a rude hand. Now, if Christian, uh, sorry to cut you off, but if Christian plays that wheel, I mean, Francois Mahamoti, oh, yeah, yeah, Mind yeah. Twist. See, but interesting, right? Because with Black Lotus and the Volcanic, I might be inclined to steal that Sedge Troll with Control Magic and then save the blast for the next card. Like, imagine if he, imagine if he Control Magic, so you sack the Lotus, you use the Factory, Control Magic, the Troll. Opponent untaps and plays Wheel of Fortune, and you blast the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. That's massive. Like, that's really strong. That's true. Okay. So we'll see if Christian wants the wheel here. Uh, he is a bit behind, and draw sevens from behind are risky. But if you have nothing else going for you. Okay, a follow-up troll means that the control magic play is still available, but I think, I don't know if Francois has the extra blue source which he did have with the Lotus, right? So now the yeah. Lotus is gone. But he probably felt that scaling was more valuable. I don't know. Stealing my opponent's troll and beating them down, it's pretty nice. Now again, like, uh, Francois does not have black himself, so he wouldn't pump the troll. It would just be a 2-2. But I don't know. I mean, uh, control magic <laughs> is rude. It's a rude card. Uh, okay, okay. I will say though, um, the play, the path that Francois took, gets him the six drop in play, where now he's just missing one land for control magic, whereas if he did it the other way around, he'd be missing three land drops for the Triskelion. Yeah. So, so the, the, it's not this. It's never to say that the play that the players choose is wrong, just because we have different opinion. But it is always interesting to see how things could have gone differently, right? That's true. So many insane plays, as they say in That's vintage. That's true, yeah. Okay. Oh, there's the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, but see like how much uh, stronger Francois' hand would be if he would have had access to that uh, that Blue Blast? <laughs> so, uh, Jesus. You know, I think 2-2 two, two Troll in play plus Blue Blast for the Wheel might be better than Griskelion. Those are both of the control magics from the sideboard. Yeah. So I think there's no more of that. Yeah. I think with Christian, I'd be like super happy with that. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be like, 
Nice. It's really good. It, it's really good for Christian that he was able to find a Mox, too. That extra yeah. mana source uh, is really good for the Wheel of Fortune turn. And he's going to disintegrate. And a library. And a Chaos. Ah! Oh, praise Odin. You know what I'm talking about? Like a glorious hand right there. Okay. That's also very good. They both players but, drew very uh, well. No, no black for Francois, though. Still. I think I'm inclined to strip the uh, colored yeah, resource, the, the colored sources. Yeah, I was just thinking that too. I was like, if I'm like, if I'm like Christian, I would probably strip the uh, volcanic. Yeah, that's true too. Uh, Francois could have chosen Mind Twist maybe instead of uh, instead of Triskelion. Yeah, that is true. Sometimes people, and I'm not saying this is what he was thinking. But sometimes people are afraid to use Mind Twist if they can't get the full hand out. Like, sometimes they think it's just not worth it to hit you for two or three. But the... Re yeah, exactly. Two cards or three cards could make a massive difference, especially when it's happening at random, right? Yeah. Like, if, if Mind Twist let your opponent choose, then okay, I can see, waiting for the full thing. But the random factor is, uh, is crazy. Yeah, that's a huge thing. I mean, right now, Christian, do you play the library? Play the slow game? Try to draw some cards? Are you trying to establish more of a board state? Uh, well, you know, and I really try to lock your opponent out? Because, I mean, Central is really putting this, the Triskelion at bay. Yeah. Right now, it's kind of neutralizing that. And Francois probably doesn't want to use the factories because he might lose it. And right now, he's kind of low on mana sources. So at this point, does Kristen try to put the Loa on the table to try to get more and more to, to get a quicker card draw to establish a bigger board state? Try to yeah. lock Francois, or is he try to like go like stupid aggressive, just like dump, dump, yeah, dump? I think strip his mana sources. Like, I think uh, I think Christian is the aggressor. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. 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 It, like it doesn't look like it, but I think Christian's the aggressor, and I think for aggressive decks, like burn heavy aggressive decks, I think Library is actually a trap. Like it's a card you want to bring in. Like I think you put that card in the sideboard. Yeah. And you bring and, and you board it in. Now, of course, with Bonsoir playing this and taking away Christian's threat. Yeah, this now changes a lot. But but the thing is still right. Is like now that this card is dead. And Triskelion can attack. If Christian takes turns to start drawing cards, it might be it might be too slow for the Triskelion. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't think it triggers. I don't think it. Uh, no. I don't think you can save the troll. No, you can't regenerate. I'm pretty sure disintegrate just die. Yeah, I'm cannot, pretty sure. Yeah. Disintegrate, you cannot regenerate. There's no counter. It's it's removed from the game. It's exiled. Yeah, yeah, it's like gone. There's no. If, if it's fireball, then yeah, you could regenerate, because it's, you're not. It's not exiling the creature. So. Yeah, see, even a person. Oh, no, but, but yeah. counters. So I think. Uh, but it still died, though, so. Yeah. Yeah. And well, I mean. What, what really matters here is, is that Disintegrate is. Like, as much as we all know, Sword is the enemy, Sword the Plowshare is the enemy of, of Sedge Troll, really, it's Disintegrate. Because we know that that plow is coming when you play against pretty much almost anybody in this format. White is such a strong color. Yeah. The disintegrate kind of. I feel like the disintegrate, even though again it is, it is a played card, it does does kind of have a bit of an ouch factor to it because when you see the red mana, a uh, red mana tapped, you expect that she'll be able to protect the troll. 
but the disintegrate doesn't allow that. So yeah, it's usually the reaction of, yeah. oh man, so really. We we, we, we we did get uh, strip mine on the color yeah, sources. Okay. Yeah. Though you know it's interesting though is because when my sedge troll dies, I'm more inclined now to waste to to strip the factories, because Francois can choose to not play any cards or not have access to playing any cards because he has no color, but he can still attack for four every turn, right? So that not, is true. Yeah, I mean chaos orb helps a lot. Like, um, yeah, with, with the troll in play, I would maybe go for the volcanic, especially after I see my opponent play another uh, colorless mana source, like the library. Yeah. But at the same time, I did also just give them seven cards. So the chances that they don't draw more colored sources means maybe the more threatening land, i.e. Meshes Factory, is the smarter target. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. I mean... Demonic. What is Demonic getting? <clears throat> Soul Ring? Soul Ring? You think? Why? Oh. He went too fast. Or maybe uh, maybe Underground Sea? No, no, because he has the city now, so that's not necessary. I don't know. Maybe all I can think of is Soul Ring, maybe. Copy, ar copy Artifact. Copy Artifact? Yeah. Copy could be good. It's the first card in his hand. Uh, ancestral. He got Ancestral. He got Ancestral. What? He got Ancestral. Ooh, demonics for Ancestral. <laughs> yeah. What? Drawing cards. So bad. Drawing cards I mean, is... Uh, what? You you know a lot about drawing cards. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, You're yeah. a uh, connoisseur, uh, sorts of... Uh, twiddle, twiddle, twiddle. Uh, uh, twiddle. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to twiddle. Take a turn. Trike just putting the damage in. Why, though? Oh, you know, I, something not mentioned. Oh, okay, so uh, Christian activated the Chaos Orb, and Francois responded by pinging just in case the Chaos Orb chose to destroy the Triskelion. Yeah. Which I get. Yeah, but I think also one thing not mentioned is I believe a, a part of the Montreal Special deck is uh, animate dead, so yeah. you uh, you copy the Triskelions, then the Triskelions attack or ping and kill themselves, and then you reanimate them with the animate dead. Yeah. So I think copy artifact, uh, mana vault, and animate dead are the three staples and of the sage Montreal too, special. Eh? Yeah, well, sage. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah. I bet. Yeah, yeah. Those three that you said, like, that's like the big three of the deck, and then. The side is like Sage and yeah. et cetera, I mean, et cetera. Sage of Latinum would never be in this deck if they were just playing Mishra's Workshop instead of Mana Vault. That's just, uh, just going <laughs> to... So as much as the Sages are a big part of the Montreal Special uh, ID, they wouldn't be there if they just played, uh, you know. Yeah. Let's say the Montreal special deck is like Montreal Roads. There's a lot of holes in it. There's a lot of holes. A lot of holes. But it's okay. A lot we, of bumps. Because we love driving. Of, yeah, we love to drive anyways. <laughs> a little rocky to get to the way where you okay. want to go. What are you what, what are you recalling here? Troll and troll? Wow, two threats. Yeah, I guess they're really good versus. But do I uh, want to get the strip mine and chaos orb? This really yeah, maybe actually. lock your opponent out? Like Christian also does have uh, Serendipit Freets as yeah. as beatdown options, so yeah maybe. But at the same time though, like Strip Mine enters and you know you sacrifice it and kill something and then it's gone. Whereas that troll acts as double duty; it, it can block yeah. both of those cards and kill them both also, right? So maybe troll is like a two for one. Whereas I think you just did like you. Yeah, target me. Yeah, he played in his troll name. Christian, Christian you say pointed you to himself. Point yeah. <laughs> Don't forget, ancestral recall targets. So draw, always draw, draw. ask your opponent. Yeah. Draw, 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 draw. Please and thank you.
Francois' graveyard is uh, getting a little bit intrusive over here. Yeah. So what's Christian's like end game here? How does he win this one? Play creatures. Yeah. Eh? Uh, play creatures and attack. The strip mines help him a lot. Yeah, I was gonna say you've already spent three, two strip mines hitting mana sources, like colored sources. I would, I would maintain that. Especially now that you have two trolls, yeah. maybe play them both because you have the mana to act. Yeah, good, good. He, he almost tapped the underground, see there? Like, so, hey, right, Christian might take this one. Looks like it might be a best of three after all. He's at 13. Right? It's uh, 13? Yeah. Yeah, because there's 16 and 13. Yeah. Oh, wow. So he actually found the soul ring off of the ancestral, I guess. See? What's the point of searching for a soul ring when you can just draw it off the card that you search for? <laughs> Easy. Easy game. Fourteen minutes left in the round. I think a lot of games might end earlier than fifty minutes because there's a lot of burn, a lot of uh, like counter burn yeah, and goblins and stuff like that. So, oh, okay, Christian putting on the the flames here. Okay, he's taking the six damage. Not, not usually. <laughs> not usually, yeah. I think if you put the Nevin Nero's disc in the main board, you're more of a control deck. If you put them in the sideboard, you're more of a, uh, an aggro deck. So. He has it in the sideboard. Yes, but like there's like the idea, the deck's overall I, the deck's overall identity is uh, still aggro, even if you board in the discs because you're just boarding them in to deal with annoying things that your opponent is doing as opposed to your deck is the disc defensive deck. Hmm. That uh, Triskelion is not really... Uh, this is the same Triskelion that he used the Lotus for. Yeah, the game, yeah. Right? yeah. Yeah, yeah. But imagine, right, those trolls came back after being destroyed, whereas if he would have controlled magic to one of them, it would still be in play and dealing more damage than the Triskelion. I mean, coulda, woulda, shoulda, hindsight 2020. Yeah. But, yeah. Yes. Oh, to protect the... To protect. Yeah. That, that's true. It's true yeah. that uh, that Christian used a bolt at, uh, early on in the game that may have, instead of finding Francois' face, may have found the troll had Francois stole the troll. But, I mean, we'll see. Right now, Francois is three points of life. Oh. Below. He's got a lightning bolt and... Okay. Christian has lightning bolt? Yeah. And, and disintegrate? Yeah, but oh. Francois has... Uh, Blue Elemental uh, Blast. Right. It was a Red Blast. Was it Red Blast? It was a Red oh, Blast. Yeah, yeah, okay, maybe. So I'm pretty sure Christian might just... Uh, might just yeah, have... He'll probably take it this round, yeah. Or this game. Well, okay. If... I think you have to block with at least the Sage. If you don't block with the Sage, I would... Assume some kind of counterspell in my opponent's hand. If I get blocked by the Sage, it's harder to say because I think you have to block no matter what. So we'll see.
Yeah, Christian's got to do that. Uh, do I dump all my mana into this card just to get blue blasted? Okay, so, wow. Uh, Francois took the damage. So Francois took the damage, which would scare me into not playing... Oh, but actually, hold on. Irrelevant, because now it's only four damage. So there's no tap out. It's just pay four. Yeah. Counterspell or not, I think you just risk it now because it's only... Yeah. Let me uh, change Francois' life total. Yeah. And... We got it. Yeah, good for Christian. Yeah. yeah, so, yeah, if it wasn't for the fact that I just realized, like, you only have to pay four, no longer have to tap out, I probably would have gotten too scared to use the Disintegrate. But, yeah, with only only tapping half my mana sources, no, no problem. Here's my thing. If you counter it, I still have Bolt and uh, Troll Troll plus Factory next turn. No problem. Yeah. So that's a game three. We've got just under ten minutes. I think uh, you could it's do a decent possible. game. Well, it's better than one minute. Yeah, like yeah, the last yeah, round, you could do better like better than one minute. So you know. I mean, we'll see. It looks like uh, pretty much what we mentioned. They would board in. They board it in, except for the discs. I didn't see any discs. Could be just maybe didn't draw any. Yeah, maybe he brought in the gold get the the silex instead, thinking if I can get this out right away, like gloom, I can get it. Fast. But doesn't silex require mana cost to activate? I think you just discard it or sacrifice it. Oh, you sacrifice it. it, eh? Yeah. Yeah. It costs one. Yeah, it costs so one. So Silex eh? costs four to play and then one to activate to destroy all uh, Antiquities cards. So this even prevents them from being played. So the play, opponent yeah. could still play, play them. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Is there a raffle in every round or every like? Is there a raffle in every round? All right. Going to game three here? Yep. Going to game three. <laughs> Looks like uh, Carl won his first game. Oh, did he? Yeah. Carl his, won his first game. With his mill deck. Yeah. Le Moulin. What was that one comment in our uh, previous video? Moulin Rouge? Yeah, you should put red in this deck. Yeah, so you call it yeah. Moulin Rouge. Even Kihil won. Same deck. Oh, really? Yeah. How funny would it be if the Thunder Wolves Challenge 7 was won with Mil? Uh, I don't know if I can afford... I think I, I cried myself to sleep. Yeah, I can't afford Carl's ego to... to to grow so he'll large, be, if, uh, you know, he'll yeah, just come in like Macho Man, flexing his muscles. I, I want to be, uh, yeah. yeah, I want to be happy for <laughs> Carl, but at the same time, I can't be if it's Mill. So I don't know. Yeah, I'm surprised to see uh, one of our shops players is uh, has lost his first round. No, but no shops players have lost. I've lost. Just, the, the, yeah, he lost. It just—it always seems like the shops like is just so strong that it can't. It just can't lose. But that's not how ma that's not how life works. But still, like, like a properly built shop deck just seems uh, so unbeatable. All right, here we are, game three now. Game three. Ooh. Six and a half minutes, roughly. That looks like an okay hand. Both hands look somewhat decent. But he took a mulligan. Probably uh, he didn't see the last two cards, so I thought there were lands. Yeah, okay. Probably didn't feel like it was good enough. Yeah. 
it definitely hurts to mulligan in general, but it feels good when your opponent mulligans with you, right? When you're both when you both mulligan. Yeah. It's nice. Was it, yeah. What was it like when we were playing against each other a couple of weeks ago? I think we both mulligan down to like we both looked like two, three mulligans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just kept drawing like no lands or all lands. It was like feels really bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the mana screw and the mana flood. Those are the uh, the two roughest parts about playing uh, magic. No, what feels bad is uh, when we play vintage and you like destroy me in turn one with your like I, dredge deck. I don't hear anything bad about any of that. That all sounds really good. Yeah. Yeah. My ego is shattered. Yeah. Come, Anthony. Play vintage. <laughs> yeah. It's fun. Play vintage, they said. It, it would be fun, they said. Uh, <laughs> attack for 20 on turn one. <laughs> attack for 20? Yeah. All right. Now going back to old school. So. Okay. Okay. We are going to keep six by getting rid of a Tundra for Francois, and we are going to keep six by getting rid of a disc. Okay, so he, he did bring the disc. Okay, so, yeah. He just didn't yeah, draw, didn't, any, didn't last draw any last game. But it didn't matter. He won anyways, so good for him. Yeah, see, Fra Francois got one of those dirtle, dirtle hands doing uh, not too much. He has to draw really well off the top. I think it's they, like the third game in a row he draws like the Lotus. Yeah, Lotus. I know. Early game. Amazing. I wonder why he's not playing the Chaos Orb. Uh, yeah, always a risky uh, attack when your opponent has a red source. Yeah. But I don't think we saw any bolts out of Francois' deck, so maybe, uh, maybe by game three it's okay to just go for it. I'm always a little skeptical, though, because it's like, especially if you're low on mana sources. I'd say, uh... Disintegrate, copy, and chaos, or... Yeah, copy artifact. Yeah. So he can play Chaos Orb and copy it. Why are we cracking the so. Lotus? Oh, okay. My goodness. Yeah. That is a, certainly a play you could make. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, I would say that's, so. That's the thing, right? Is like if Christian can just keep playing lands, then I think he's actually in an okay position, considering that Francois is literally just stuck on top deck, and if he draws half his deck being mana sources, there's just nothing happening there. So. One flip is good. And so the best thing for Christian right now is to play a uh, mana source. Uh, volcanic, a bad, uh, maybe a Badlands. Badlands, Underground Sea, and then... Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, volcanic. Oh. Yeah, you snapping your fingers doesn't really yeah. tell me... <laughs> You know, the, yeah, that, yeah, well, that card. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. thing with the, the thing with Jiggy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Doesn't work. Okay. That, That's why, like, just really. Yeah, well, he, he, Tom's that came really well. Yeah, he, he ripped there. Now, obviously, Ancestral is the play. Yeah. Yeah, he got five, yeah. Yeah, no, that uh, Demonic Francis show was necessary for sure. So. Oh, but the draw is not the great. Well, actually, pretty good, actually. Honestly, what am I saying? Disintegrate just deals with the uh, threats. If Christian has Serendib 
Oh, wow. Serendip is a lot better for him than Troll is, obviously, with the information, right? Yeah. Because uh, the blast won't hit it, the disintegrates will struggle. Now, Francois's got the mana for it. Yeah, so there's the Ifrit. Unfortunately, the demonic into Ancestral found Francois enough mana to be able to kill this Ifrit, and he has a backup disintegrate. But if the Ifrit can consume the disintegrates, it makes it that much harder for the trolls to be killed. Oh, Francois just going face. Okay. He's like, he's like, probably screw it. I have enough burn spells. I'm just going to try to do the best. So now, like, but he could still attack for five. Yeah, he can. I think uh, Christian wins that race. He only decides three. He attacked only for three. Oh, because right, I think he wants to keep for regenerate. Yeah. So. Okay, Francois is uh, making interesting decisions, uh, prioritizing lethal instead of the creatures on board. I don't know if it's uh, the right play, if it's uh, the time is making him nervous. It's probably the question of time. Yeah. Oh, Francois is taking six here now. Yeah. So Francois falls to six. Oh, with a time walk. Oh. Big. Does he take the win? Big win for Christian. Now, I think that that's a direct result of Francois not disintegrating the Afrit. Oh, you can still block. Wow, disintegrate. Oh, we have a winner. Brutal. Good game. Let that be Excellent a lesson match. to you, Francois. Disintegrate the creature. You cannot you cannot outrace an aggro deck with two burn spells in your hand. It is not possible. Disintegrate the creatures. <laughs> Let that be a note for all the watchers too. Yeah. But good good for Christian though. Yeah. Uh, Excellent he, round. He, he was given his opening and he took it. So congratulations. Uh, hey, he actually came back from a pretty rough start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in game one and game three. Yeah. So, so uh, congrats but you see to him. I mean, though, like, he got those two factories destroyed, and he still had. It was it was okay, right? Like, so maybe for uh, like Francois, better off save considering the fact that Christian could find his way out of having yeah. no lands. Those chaos serves would have been much better to hit the cards that get played off of those lands. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I agree. Is that? Yeah, sure. Let's go on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, we'll take a look at uh, Christian. Christian's deck now. Our our big winner. So yeah, I mean, uh, pretty standard sense troll with the uh, trolls and the freets and the burn package, right? Yeah. I uh, mean. I like the Stone Rain as uh, Sinkhole 5 and 6. What do you think of the Power Sink? Um, it, do you think it has the place in this deck? So, for, for like something a bit aggro? It's or do you well, think... The thing with Power Sink is that Power Sink is in the slot of Counterspell or him to Korak, in my opinion. So because he's already playing Sinkhole, his choice was in my. It was either going to be him to Torak, or if he really wanted a counter spell, power sync. The reason why it's not counter spell is because with a card like Sinkhole, you really want to prioritize that turn to Sinkhole. Yeah, yeah, I, I suppose. Which will let you then yeah. uh, have mana available to pay the less restrictive cost of power sync versus counter spell later on. I guess so, it's also a card like you could call so kind of like only leave one blue untapped. Yeah. And kind of like suck your opponent, yeah. maybe. Like so, I think I I understand why it's there, but I think if I'm playing sinkhole in my troll deck, I think I'm much more inclined to either be uh, put him to Torak in that slot, 
because the, the, the denial of land resources as well as hand resources is a lot more effective together than land resource denial with uh, hopeful counterspelling. Because yeah. power, power sync isn't a hard counter and it can be dead, right? Like, I yeah. can just have Manit to pay for it. So I do think that the Hint of Torak would have been a better choice side by side to the sinkhole. Yeah. I agree. Other than that, uh, every other card is regular. The Silex in the side is interesting. The Silex might be a response to the um, what's it I called? I think it would just put a third energy flux. So yeah, I think it's just if you're because... really scared of like shop ish. Kinda... No, but that's what I mean. I don't think he is. I think he's afraid of the the Montreal uh, aura. Like we we have this big joke right where we're we're we're, we're Trike City. Like, we play Triskelions, everyone's playing Triskelion. So maybe that was a decision coming to Montreal specifically. I'll shave one energy flux and have more antiquities hate for the Montreal people. Maybe. Well, anyways. I don't know. But anyway, so otherwise, pretty standard. Uh, yeah. can, we, can we see uh, Francois' deck? So, I mean, we've seen this deck yeah, hundreds saw, of times. We saw it on played. stream. Uh, we saw it before. And, uh, yeah, I mean... You know, the Mahumati Jin, Mahumati, yeah, or Mahumati, however you pronounce yeah. it. I think that's kind of like a change from the past decks. I don't think there was always a card that was there. No, but it's it's, it's very like uh, Carl and Francois to have like a Sarah Angel in their sideboard when they're playing white decks. So like playing a big beefy creature in the side, even if it's not always been Mahumati, is still at least in, uh, in, in theme. Yeah, with like in the way yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so you can kind of see on the screen here, you've got the Mana Vault, like we said, with the Triskelions and the copy artifacts. And it is just a singleton copy of Animate Dead, but still, it is a part of the deck's uh, ID, right? Do you think uh, it would have been better, instead of using the Regrowth, to have a second Animate Dead and yeah. have a better stable, like a... Uh, you know, like a, a stable mana source, so you don't have to like splash the, splash green, the green. So to, to use that, you know, one, yeah, you know what I mean. In in terms of uh, one particular card, yeah, well, it's, uh, but, but the thing is, in, in terms of mana production, it definitely makes the deck a little bit dirtier, like less clean. Yeah, you have to also now splash green, but at the same time, you only really have like four Triskelion and two Petrovis to reanimate. Yeah. So Animate Dead may itself, even if castable, be found to be dead uh, more often than not. So okay. it's not like to say one is right and one is wrong, but in both cases, the card can be impossible to cast or just dead. And if you're in that scenario, you have much higher upside with what Regrowth offers for potential than the Animate Dead on a 3-3. Three, three, three. Like if Regrowth gets Copy Artifact, or it gets Brain Geyser, or one of the power well, I'm not cards. Saying, yeah, I'm not saying yeah. it's a bad card, but I just feel for some reason like that card in this particular deck Yelps. is up, it's like, yeah. mis you know what I mean? But that being said, you are right that it could be good to get the Regrowth, Demonic Tutor, you know. Ant Ancestral Time Walk, yeah. all that stuff. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a five color deck that's doing what most old school decks play, uh, sorry, what most old school decks do, where it just kind of plays all the power cards. And when I make that statement, I'm going beyond the power nine. Like we have a joke here also in Montreal where we, we, we have the power 18, which includes the restricted cards. Sometimes it's power 22. Oh, if you want to include like a <laughs> workshop in there. Yeah. Right, so like mind twist, demonic, balance, Wheel of Fortune, Regrowth, Chaos Orb, Mana Drain, uh, Brain Geyser. Those are eight cards plus the Power Nine is like 17, like almost auto includes, almost. Yeah. Right? So, like, Regrowth, even though it's that extra color, falls in that category of I'm just going to play all the Power cards, kind of. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So. Well, we'll see what happens. Thank you.